So I suffer from an affliction called video techno lust. And the symptoms are you'll buy anything that you can remotely justify as helping your video production. And believe me, I wasted a lot of money over the years because part of this disease makes you buy first versions of things, right? You, you end up believing the, the hype. You watch the video, oh, that looks great because these guys wouldn't just put out crap to, you know, get some cash flow into their startup, right? Yeah. So, I'm trying to kick and it's been a while, right? In fact, the last time I bought something, I bought the first version of the Solo Shot. You know what this is? It's this um, panning device. You put a camera on it and the device will follow a transmitter. It was designed for surfing activities, right? And they had videos of these guys 200 yards offshore and this camera's following them and it's waterproof. I'm thinking, how perfect for what I do. I put a camera over here, I get a you know, follow shot. In fact, here's an example, right? Well, it turns out the thing's really good at 200 yards, but wasn't so good at, you know, 25 yards, which is mostly what I do. So, again, I'm sort of in remission <laughs> because lately I've been looking at the DJI Osmo. Have you seen this little gimbal thing? And uh, it's designed for vloggers, right? And man, I'm all over. They introduced it, I think, in, uh, on the second of this month. But I'm looking at it going, this is perfect because it's designed for vloggers, right? But because I'm working on my addiction, I said, what would I really do with it? And it turns out primarily I would be using the shots and cutting them together anyway. Right? So I came up with something I call the super selfie. Okay? Check this out. Okay, so paramount to anything that I come up with, invent, create, whatever you want to call it, it needs to fit into the saddlebags. So here's what it looks like completely assembled, okay? Uh, I have an iRig mic here hooked up to the iPhone, right? And I have a GoPro Silver because it has the uh, screen on the back facing that way. This camera's facing at me, and I should be getting pretty good sound with the uh, iRig, right? And the best part of this is now you see I have the feet on here, right? So if I loosen this, drop that, loosen this, drop it down, tighten them back up, I can actually set this down like this, tilt this back, and I have another camera angle right there, okay? So I'm here, and let's say I want to use this one, I walk away to here, okay? Then I come in on the shot, hey, how you doing? Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but there's another camera over there. I'm serious, check this out. Whoa! Right? So now you're there, you're watching there, and also I could, if I wanted to, get up here and do kind of a weirdo shot here. Right? So I call this the super selfie, and I was thinking about the Osmo, the DJI Osmo, and I would be cutting between these anyway, so I don't really need that panning shot. Plus, I don't have a thousand bucks right now to play with new technology. Anybody want to buy a solo shot? This is the part I think I'm going to like the best, right? I can look at where I'm going and I can look back at myself at the same time. And the advantage of this is that I can do things like, hey, look at this. I love the name of this restaurant. 
It's like the perfect answer to four people arguing about where to have lunch. So you're the manager here, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for always coming in. It's funny, you put people on camera, they get very different. You notice that? <laughs> pretty much the test and it's really interesting how people react when they see you walking around with this gizmo you know